Pisces, welcome to Sag and Sun. We're going to see what messages come out for you today. Uh, these are general readings. I only take what resonates. Hold on, y'all. My damn throat dry. Hold up, wait a minute. You know your throat be so dry, your tongues will start sticking together. Yeah. Okay. Whew. Let's see what's going on. All right, so you have justice here. So to be fair, some of you guys could be dealing with a Libra, but I feel like some type of scales are being balanced. This is for Pisces, okay. Pisces. Uh, or, you know, this could be happening now. Are we in Pisces season? No, we still in Aquarius. The sun could get, be getting ready to happen. Look at that. Milk and honey. The milk and honey, that's the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, child. Okay? Some of y'all finna be wilding around in this milk and honey. Um, see, people like to hate on you when you get to this point. And they don't even know. If, if justice is coming out, that means you went through some shit. Oh, yes, you did. You went through some shit. So, be prepared for this hate to come in. Because, unfortunately, you got people out there like that. All right. So, yeah, it's time for you guys to take a nap. This is your card with the moon on it. Ooh, there's a little fox right here. Somebody being sneaky. And, and these stars, you know, that's Aquarius energy. Somebody doing some fuckery. And that could be why the justice is coming in. Somebody's extending a peace offer. Mm-hmm. Now, it could be an Aquarius extending the peace off. I don't know. Um, there's something about the way that star is placed on her forehead, right by her penal gland, her third eye. It, you know, it might have something to do with it. I also see a lot of hearts right here. So I'm going to say what I just said in my other reading. Some of you have love offers coming in and some of y'all have job offers job offers coming in which is why we see the ten of pentacles which talks about money and stability and the ten of cups which talks about emotional wish fulfillment so to be fair this is what's coming in for you peace offerings maybe you was pushed to the edge about a situation um i like these little green card because they be talking but some of them is upside down so y'all give me just a half a second to clear the deck to see it but we'll see if it come out i already see it child i mean that's not even that for you to worry about people gonna hate anyway i mean what she, what she say you know you that bitch when you cause all this conversation or you that man take it how it resonate okay because it could be a lot of people talking about you but some justice is coming in for you And you know, it may not come through how you thought it was. But, uh, so in that case, don't miss out on no opportunity because something didn't come through how you thought it should have. Okay, boo boo? All right. Now, let's shuffle these up. And let's see what this is. Oh, look at that. Right out. I just cut it just like that right there. This is the time for you to trust in the universe and know that you will be provided for because there's a career or a blessing lining up for you. Stay positive. I'm telling you, that's the justice. To be fair, scales is being balanced. Angelic help. Hello? Baby. Baby, baby, baby. Baby, baby, baby. All right, what do we need to see for my Pisces collective? Please and thank you. All right, you got spirituality. So some of you guys may be called to become a spiritual advisor or a healer. Okay. Uh, then you have the artist. So focus on finding the beauty in your day-to-day -day life. 
if you can't make a living with your art full time, start part time. Just get started. So maybe some of y'all is artists. Okay, and then some of y'all are like into this spiritual. Y'all might want to go watch the reading I just did, child. Because in that case, somebody was definitely very spiritual, very connected with the divine. But they were going through a lot of harsh judgments because of it. And so, like I said, somebody wants to extend the peace offering here. And uh, I don't know why I'm hearing call of truth. So maybe you was into it with somebody. Ooh. Network, writer, manifest, and look. So look. This networker, it says, it may be time for you to create or reach out to a network of people who will help you. Make the most out of the resources that you have to improve your finances. Then you have this writer here. It says, stories matter. Your words have the power to influence others. Find out how you can contribute. Um, excuse me. A career in social media management, book writing, content writing, or blogging could be just right for you. I, I just said in the last reading, that person who was going through all that bullshit, I said, when you make it to the other side of it, um, you may become a speaker. You never, your words kept folk. Just by you simply saying what you went through and then you're still here to talk about it. It helps people. I mean, you just never know. Okay, so manifesting. You have all the tools you need to increase your income. Good fortune is coming to you soon. And an opportunity may come where you can showcase your talents, okay? And then this luck card. Your luck is about to change for the better. You could get a lucky breakthrough or some... I'm sorry, you could get a lucky break or some type of financial breakthrough. Anything you do right now. So some of y'all got the Midas touch. Anything you do right now will be very prosperous for you. I love these cards because they, they get right to the business. Okay? Now we're going to clarify some things with the Kipper deck. Alrighty. Let's shuffle this one. What's going on? Tell me what's going on. I just saw death, community, and child. see what's going on for Pisces spirit. What messages do you have for my Pisces collective, please? And thank you. Came out again, coughing. doesn't have to be a uh, relationship. It's some type of partnership here. Okay? But for others of you, it could be a relationship. Because like I said, the Ten of Cups, that's emotional wish fulfillment. The Ten of Pentacles is money. So some of y'all, I mean, the card already said you're going to get a lucky financial breakthrough. And then this card says there's a career or a blessing lining up for you, so stay positive. So, some of y'all are getting, that's the justice in the situation. Y'all are going to be getting relationships, jobs. You're going to be guided toward like-minded individuals with the network card right here. People who can help you. People who are on your vibration. Um, what else? Spirit? A house? Mm. Some of you may be able to purchase a home or pathway. This house is like the four ones. It speaks of stability. And then there's this child, thief, family room, message of concern, journey, marriage, and despair. So this person could have, whoever this is that's coming in your life, look at that sudden will. 
this person could have already got into a relationship with the lover. They could have chose someone else, maybe somebody that they got some kids with and um, realized that that person was only there for their money. So maybe it's this person who's being guided towards like-minded individuals. And maybe you're on this person's path, Pisces. Because maybe they was, yeah, they got with old false head. They got with a karmic, a false person. Somebody who either only wanted them because of their status, only wanted them for money or whatever. All right. Now, despair. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Somebody could lose a job. There's some secrets going on. You know what I feel for some of y'all? This person like ran off and married someone else in secret just to realize they fucked up. That's what I feel. Okay. Another thing I'm getting. This ain't another thing that I'm getting. Someone could have had some a, a spouse pass away. And um maybe the spouse left you something. And with that thief card, maybe other people was trying to take it. And in that case, you're gonna get some justice right there, boo-boo. Alright, somebody could I mean imprisonment. Somebody could go to jail because of this. Or something, child. Like, this is... I don't know what they doing. Okay, what's that? Privileged lady. Oh. Now, that's the spouse. The privileged lady is the spouse. And it landed on top of this network. It's time to create or reach out to a network of people who can help you. So maybe this privileged lady had a spouse to pass away. You got toil and labor. And distant horizon. Occupation and concern. There could be a business here too. Or like, um, cause see this courtship it, and this marriage don't have to be, it's, it's like a contract. So it don't have to be that she was married to somebody. Maybe these was business partners. Okay. Somebody could have left. If this person, because there's this coffin, it means an ending. So either someone passed or maybe somebody got a divorce or there's an ending of a contract. So they're offering it to somebody else, period. Okay. Somebody could have. People could be hiding this from you. You could have shit in your name right now and people hiding it. But they can't do it no more. Justice coming in. You could have a, a property, right? The house stands for a lot of shit. You can have property, the occupation. You can have a business or you there's a position you're supposed to fill. And that could be why it's time for you to reach out to a network of people who can help you secure this. Pisces. But I feel... I feel like you did it all on your own with this angelic help. And so they can't hide this shit no more. They got just this, the scales is being balanced. So something could be happening in Pisces season. But it's February, March, something like that. Um, Because maybe, and now when this happens, people going to want to hear about it or write a story about it or something. Or people could know. See, you know what I'm kind of getting? I'm, I'm kind of getting somebody going to be bombarded with shit that they have no idea what's going on. That's what I feel for some of y'all. For others of you, you need to reach out to people who can help you with this situation. <laughs> like, if this is a legal situation, you might have to get you a, represent, a representative or something. I don't know. But, um, that occupation with concern... If someone left you to be in a position, 1444 on the phone, people could have concern that you're not built for this or you don't deserve something. Like, what? 
baby, chill out. Because whoever left it to you, they saw something in you. So it's not for other people to judge. I never understood why it be so much bullshit when, when a will, when somebody write down a will, they know good and damn well what it is that they want to happen. So why is it that when, when the person that like, when they, when people do their wills, when they are living, don't nobody ask them shit. Okay. So you want your business to go to your daughter. You want your house to go to your son. Okay, cool. They put everything on file and everything is cool. Soon as the person is in the ground and they can't talk. Well, I'm just not sure he wanted his business to go to his daughter. Uh-uh. I'm, I'm not sure she's fit. He asked you to evaluate shit. He already said where he wanted stuff to go. Now, he wanted the house to go to his son. He wanted his motherfucking business to go to his daughter. But then you got all these other people. Well, I'm just, I don't think that. Why? Well, why would he do that? Why are you worried about it? Well, I heard somebody say, that's what I get paid to do. <laughs> Well, baby, you need to just chill out, okay? You just need to chill out because whoever did this, whoever wrote this shit out, they know what they wanted. Now, don't you go fucking with nobody's last wishes, okay? Because you don't agree with it. Because this concern with occupation, somebody be like, this person's not fit to run a business, bitch. What? Damn. Now, people get on my nerve. They should have asked him that when he was here. Are you sure you want to get this business to your daughter? She ain't but 21. She can barely spell. You sure you want to do But see, they didn't do that. They didn't do that. They want to wait till the man can't answer. And then talk about some concern. You sit your ass down. Hello. What else, beard? These folks are killing me now. Nah. They're doing too much. Now, somebody could have contested something. Beware. Mm -hmm. The emotions card says, earn money doing something that you love or a dream job may be offered to you. So, that could be that 21-year-old who finna acquire a whole, if not a whole business, um, an executive position or something. But people talking about, I don't know. I don't know if this person capable. And why? They probably mad because they can't get it. Anyway, beware. Yeah, people doing some bullshit right now. They trying to create. And I feel like that's why the the uh, just the scales is being balanced. Ain't no telling when this happened. The scales is being balanced now. Because people were trying to say you wasn't fit. Uh, you don't deserve this or it, it could even be but that's because they were showing up as the thief they were trying to take something that belonged to them alright so with the animals because you guys are highly intuitive you're being asked to follow your instincts at this time when making business decisions okay you got next level you're about to take your finances to the next level there's a chance for something extra in the air okay and then you have unfulfilled. You're unhappy with the income, but you're too scared to make any changes. All right. Um, explore your wants and needs and consider a change. So it could be something that you do for work right now to where people are like, oh, hell no. Nah. This person can't be a, a representative for this company. They scratch booties for a living. What are people going to say about that? Fuck what people going to say about that. If the, if the man say he wanted to lead a business to his daughter. I'm pretty sure he knew his daughter was scratching booties for a living. You worried about what motherfuckers going to say. Well, he ain't worried about it now because he ain't here, but he wasn't worried about it then when he created the damn will. So what the fuck? People concern themselves with shit that ain't none of their damn concern, really. So say yes to the things you think you can't do because these motherfuckers think you can't do it, and maybe you might. This might be completely out of your comfort zone. I told you, consider executive positions or becoming a CEO. Y'all, mm -mm -mm. don't be intimidated to enter the world of business. You got this. 
considered executive positions, becoming a CEO, or anything in the corporate world. It's time for you to elevate and think bigger. Now, I'm going back to the little uh, movie, Hidden Figures. He said, you can't be a computer your whole life. A person with an engineer's mind should be an engineer. So maybe you over there scratching booties for a living, but maybe you have the mentality of a business person. Maybe it's your your consistency. Maybe it's your ideas that you have. Or maybe it's your get up and go. Or maybe it's the fact that you came from nothing. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Maybe the booties that you scratch for a living, that's a business that you started on your own. You never know why this person put you in this position. But these other uh, motherfuckers is trying to figure out why you don't deserve it. Because with the gift, either something was left to you or something's being offered to you. Because you got what Maybe you got what this person felt they needed. Some people are ready for changes in their businesses. You know? And maybe you're just the thing that they need. I don't know, child. Yeah. Taking a calculated risk is sometimes necessary in order to advance. So have the courage to face the fear of uncertainty. Don't focus on the outcome. The odds are better than you think. Yeah, balance is coming through. Because you're getting angelic help right there. Destiny. Hello? Uh, believe in your dreams and passions. It's calling for you to follow them. And whatever led you to this point in your life is directing you to a higher purpose. New, exciting adventures await you. Don't look back. Only look forward. So, Pisces. Baby, they just mad, boo-boo. And maybe this is huge. I mean, somebody could have made you executive over something. And... People could be shocked. People could be like, what the fuck? You made a 21-year-old executive over this? Or you made a... Maybe this board. like there, there could be a board of people, right? With the networker. And maybe all of them are women. Well, you're a man. Or maybe all of them are men. Well, you're a woman. It could be something like that. But it's, it's time for a change, y'all. Okay? What else? Spirit. Growth. Expect good news and money matters. A raise or a new job offer. Money will soon start flowing to your business. Promising opportunities awaiting. That's the same as this gift. Look at that. People could be upset because you got offered this and they didn't. Also, if something was going on in court and a judgment came down... Somebody could be mad because you're getting something and they didn't get it. I don't know how this is going to resonate for y'all, okay? Only, and it may not resonate for all of y'all. There's that destiny card again, and there's justice. Okay? Somebody could be dealing with a Libra. The first card out was justice, and you got justice right here. But I feel like the scales is being balanced. Okay? And then what this is, work smart. Um, are you making it harder than it has to be? Sometimes the solutions are simple. Perhaps it's time to clean house personally and professionally. Okay, so you're getting ready to step into this situation or this business or whatever. But remember, you, you have a business where you scratch booties for a living. So they're telling you it's time to clean it up. You might have to... Because you could, you could be getting ready to get off of the dream job. So you might have to decide whether you want to keep on scratching the booties or not. Because this has to do with life purpose and destiny. Okay. Mm. And your persistence. Your efforts have not gone unnoticed. Success just around the corner. So, crafter. There's something wonderful just waiting to be expressed with your hands. Think of ways to generate more money than no, no other has done before. Try something new. Uh, I got some ideas, but I ain't gonna talk about them. Not out and then look, I just saw that card again. Of course, this card never is far. This damn envy card so others could be envying your success. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Because some of y'all is getting these dream jobs. You got a little property right there. A little gift. Milk and honey. Milk and honey, okay? So you have Explore. Now, he looking up at the stars. 
that's crazy. I was watching uh, Family Matters. Family Matters. And one of the episodes, he, he was a student. What the fuck did they call that damn thing? He had created something. And I don't know, child. That's what it was called the Explorer. All right. So, anyway, yeah, gift. Someone might give you a gift, lend you money, or help you in some kind of way. You could get a cash bonus at work, or you have natural talents, gifts, abilities just waiting to be discovered. Okay. So, take action. Whatever your question is, this card is telling you to go for it. Don't procrastinate or wait to take the next step. And, I, but see, I feel like. So for some of you, you might have to travel to do to, to go to this with this pathway. Because maybe something has already been handed to you or, or gifted to you, but people aren't telling you. And another thing that I'm getting, this, and, that, and that's what I'm getting with this angelic hell. For some of y'all, something was gifted to you, right? But you over there scratching booties and you making a living. So you're not doing, you're not going toward this. Well, this angelic help is like a tower is going to hit. And it's going to force you with this pathway to explore. And then you might run up on whatever this gift was. That's what I'm getting here. Because one of them cards said, you're not fulfilled. Okay, right here, unfulfilled. So, you're unhappy with your income, but you're too scared to make any changes. Right? Also, it says you have an emotional attachment to a job that is no longer serving you. But you won't let it go because you're scared to make it. You Basically, you're making a good living. You may not like scratching booties, your nails get dirty, but it pays the bills. Well, there's something better. But that has to, y'all know, towers. You got to get rid of the old in order to embrace the new. So somehow this got to go. That scratching boot has got to go so you can explore your other gifts. Okay? We have goals, patience, offering, people arguing. Ooh. Yeah, there's, there's some, there is some financial disputes going on. Because, again, people don't feel like you're supposed to have whatever this is. All right? And I, I told you, you're somebody who's highly connected to spirit. So, the universe is working with you. So, believe in its subtle magnetism to guide you. And don't allow your fear to make you forget your greatness. Remain positive and on track. This may require you to step outside of your comfort zone. And that's why you have the card here that says, say yes to things you think you can't do because you absolutely can. Ain't nobody say we're going to be easy. Okay? And so offerings, something, something's being offered to you just period. All right? Um, it also says divine timing is at work. It will require you to have faith while you are shown the way. So... I would say this, if life is boring, ain't nothing going on, take this time to rest, recover, because it's about to get alive. Somebody going to be booked and busy or like constantly on a go or something like that, okay? Some of y'all need to focus on creating and managing a budget. Don't let the world lead you. Take, take the steering wheel and take control of your own life. This is also a good, a good time to like have a vision board. Write down your goals, your dreams, your aspirations. Okay. Maybe some of y'all are like crafters. Because right here she's sewing. Y'all are creative is what you are. Okay. She's sewing that damn dress. Maybe this person saw that you had the ability to take something and turn it. Take nothing and turn it into something. Who would have thought that you could turn uh, booty scratching into a business. I, I'm just saying that's what you do. Whatever this is that you do. Who would have thunk it? Okay? So, yeah. There's something wonderful waiting to be expressed with your hands. 
consider careers doing homemade items or some kind of craft project. Craft, craft project with the Explorer. So with this, think of ways to generate more money that no other has done before. Try something new with this destiny and this life purpose. And I heard one of my favorite readers say this earlier. Her name is um, Suit of Cups. She said some of y'all are going to be woken up. Remember I said the third eye right here? Some of y'all are going to be woken up in the middle of the night with ideas. And you put that shit to use. You put that shit to use, child. Look, the third eye. Look at that. Getting messages directly from the spirit. Look at that. And right here, too, with this star, the third eye. So, you might get a, a vision, a dream of something. Put that shit to use. And some of you, for others of you, where something was left to you, and you're not going toward that, and people are hiding that from you, uh, you're going to be put in a situation where you damn near just have to go get it. Okay? And then motivated. So there's skills that you possess that need to be shared with the world. Mm. This is remind me of the reading I just done. Consider a career in coaching, speaking, lobbying, activism, or mentoring. Okay? I've been in a room like that before. At a job. But the thing of it is, those people that sit in that room, they're actually interested in whatever you got, okay? So people could want to learn from you. And see, with this charity I, and, and investments, maybe this person saw some shit in you. So it's like this. The answers that you are, are seeking will remain unclear for now. But your basic needs will be met, okay? Um, and there is a change for the better coming your way. Embrace it. Just because you don't see any movement doesn't mean things aren't happening. And yeah, charity. Somebody really could have left something to you and people could be fighting you on that. And now you got, look at that. Teacher, money manager, and partnership with unexpected. So going back to what I was getting at the beginning, I said somebody could just be rushed with People asking them all kind of questions and taking photos and shit. Ain't no telling what the hell is going on right here. There's a few different stories in this thing. But I all I know is the scales is being balanced. Okay? Partnerships is being made. Dream jobs is being offered to folks. Like I said, somebody wants to extend a peace offering. Possibly after taking you through all this bullshit. Because we saw that arguments card. Which the argument and the beware, that is the five of ones, five of swords. And these two cards, five of swords and five of ones came out in my last reading. The beware card is the five of swords, having to win at all costs. The arguments is the five of ones, the chaos and conflict. So after that, then I feel justice is coming into somebody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Independent, beauty, stability. Embrace your unique style and own that shit. Let the world see who you really are. Some of you guys can make jewelry. Anything that helps a person look better. Shit, I don't know. That's what the cards say. Some of y'all know y'all need to take action on something. Because this, you know, this beware, envy, people envying your success. You could be a privileged lady. Or, if we go to that reading that I did a few minutes ago, it's the privileged people, the physical privileged people that are jealous of the spiritually privileged people. Okay? So, there's someone who's spiritually privileged and somebody who's physically privileged. And um, maybe somebody thought something was supposed to come to them, and it's not. It's coming to you. So... But some of y'all gonna have to go fight for this. Some of y'all gonna have to put your face out there and get seen. Be like, hold up, bro, I'm right here now. Hold up, wait a minute. I ain't gonna know where I'm right here. And uh, if my daddy want me to be, if my daddy want me to take over this executive position, I'm gonna take over it. 
or however this gonna resonate for y'all, okay? Don't be intimidated. You know, I said this a while back. Let me show you the card. I said I see a person walking into a room with people sitting around the damn, like a big ass table and people's just making decisions, right? Damn, they not just see that network of card that I put it up. But this was like a few weeks ago I was getting that vision. I don't see it now. But um, people, uh, you're going to be sitting in, in places that you may feel you don't belong. But you do. Or your ass wouldn't be there. Hello. Which is why the car says say yes to things you think you can't do because you can. You got this. You can do this. I can't find the card, y'all. I wanted to show y'all. I like to show y'all what I'm talking about. There you go. Damn. So, do you see them people sitting around that table? They may know all about whatever this. This could just be a board of executives. I mean, and um, now your ass is one of them. Now, that's taking me back to the show and with an E. She, that was all about, this woman was and was writing something in the newspaper and it was the God's heaven's truth, right? It was from a different perspective. Um, mind you, this show take place in the early 1900s. Well, Anne was ahead of her time. She was a century ahead of her time, okay? And she was writing about how a man doesn't make a woman whole. Imagine that in the early 1900s where all the way up until the the 50s and 60s, that's all women did was scout for husbands. Like, they didn't really, not all women, but that was the goal. Get a husband, start making babies so you can cook and clean. So, in that time period, she was like, what if that's not what, what the fuck I want to do? So, she was outspoken, and she didn't allow the world to change her. Well, it was a group of men who, they didn't like what she was saying. And these men was powerful peoples in the community. So they went one night and burnt the whole damn school down so she was not able to print any more papers. And there was one woman on the board with those men. And she knew the men had their points of views, but she didn't know that they was that damn evil. So when she found out about it, she said, I know all y'all going to do is deny, deny, deny. She said, but you know, I like to gossip. I like to get the word out. She said, I will talk about this until from 10 years or until you pass away, whichever one comes first. She said, or you can put three more members on this board and they have to be women. So it could be equal, you see. And that's what that reminded me of right there. So for some of y'all, that could be what's going on. I don't know. Okay. I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. Only take what resonates. If it don't resonate, don't take it. I, I feel that people, when they hear their zodiac sign, they be like, oh, this must be for me. Well, I mean, don't have to be. Serendipity coming through. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's get y'all a message before I let y'all go. Let's go to the read. That's going to be the reading. Okay, Spirit, what's going on? I keep seeing that child card, so maybe y'all are young. <laughs> or naive. Or new to this. Or, you know, you'd be more like a student. I don't know, child. Yep, there it go again. Use your spiritual gifts and natural abilities to attract your desired outcome. And then you got acceptance here. So, it says, see yourself and others through the eyes of the angels. With unconditional love and acceptance. In this way, you inspire and uplift everyone to their highest potential. Maybe that's the gift that you have to motivate. We did see that teacher card. It says your words have the power to motivate others to unstrive, I mean, to strive and uncover their true potential. So um, you can have a bunch of people who think one way. Then you put somebody like this on the board to just try and kind of like even it out different perspective type of stuff. I don't know. Okay? Take it how it resonates. But that is what I have for y'all. I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. 
I will read this card and then that's it. It is safe for you to be powerful and take charge of your life in positive ways. All right, solar plexus chakra. Okay, Pisces, bye.